Welcome to Geekionary. My name's Corey Hales, and this is the geekiest podcast you'll probably ever hear, where I will try to teach you, along with my friends, about the near to your things in life. Let's talk about it. Yeah, yeah, that, that, thank you, Eric. This is Eric, <laughs> if you haven't, I don't know, looked at the description of the thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the episode G. We're going to be talking about Godzilla. And um, I'm actually surprised how little noise that's, how that's I, not really picking that up at all. I know, I was surprised. Too. Yeah, it's... Or, well, I actually didn't hear what it sounded like, so I'm just... I'm just yeah. It, <laughs> yeah. It, might, it might sound like just a little in the background, but like, it's not that bad. Okay. Um, so, let's, uh, get down to it. You and I both have watched Godzilla movies very recently, just to kind of catch up on this. When, what was your first, like, Godzilla movie experience thing? What was your first, uh, word with Godzilla, I guess? <laughs> first, uh, Godzilla experience there was you go. probably, uh, I don't know, most years and years ago, probably when I was about 10 or so, so uh, I think it was, uh, Godzilla vs. Hedora, or... Alternatively, yeah. Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster, which was housed and displayed when I rented it. But, Much yeah. easier title for North America. Yeah. I wonder if Hedera actually needs anything, though. I have no idea. I think even in the movie, actually, they, they say uh, the one kid is explaining he's seen this thing and he's calling it a Hedera. Uh-huh. And one of the guys is saying that doesn't mean anything. So. <laughs> a, a prime plot point is that, like, yeah. it's like, what's it called? Hetero? That's bullshit. That is crazy. That's <laughs> stupid. I would call it. anything that. <laughs> Fuck you, kid. <laughs> but we're going to go with it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember being very excited about Godzilla when I first heard about it, and I saw, like, images and stuff, and I found out my friend had Godzilla vs. Godzilla. Awesome. So he lent it to me, and I watched it, and a lot of talking, which I'd forgotten about yeah. and, until I rewatched. Uh, I watched Godzilla Final War. Lots of talking, not much fighting. I think it's kind of like, a, well, you've suffered enough. Now let's watch two giant monsters <laughs> yeah. do weird kung fu. <laughs> you've seen enough awkward dub, dubbed over voices, so now here's some monsters. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much the feeling I got from two I rewatched, which is weird because like I really distinctly remember it being almost exclusively monsters fighting. And then cutting to scientists like, Godzilla is now going to use his flame breath. And it's like, yeah. oh, okay, great. Didn't need Some, that. But <laughs> somebody contact Japanese rocket, rocket control. <laughs> Japanese I don't rocket remember control. which movie that was in. But I mean, Probably right. several. Yeah. <laughs> Japanese rocket control seems like a yeah. very busy place. <laughs> Especially um, with all the Godzilla characters. Yeah, I, I have to say, though, uh, usually when it comes to foreign films, I prefer sub, like subtitles as opposed yeah, to dubbing. Yeah. But with Godzilla, it just you, you need the dubbing. It's just oh, it's part of what Godzilla is, makes makes Godzilla just so awesome. Oh, absolutely! That's I don't, I don't think I'd want a subtitle Godzilla because I wouldn't want like a rich plot and then oh by the way here's some monsters fighting. Yeah, like, I don't want to find out that there's some like much deeper elaborate meaning behind these films and then oh by the way here's some monsters fighting. Yeah, like a, a thing about them that I, I made a note about was that they aren't good movies. <laughs> they're no. pretty bad. <laughs> the acting is usually pretty bad. Voice acting usually worse. Um, yeah, yeah. The effects. It's the thing is, is that the whole rubber suit part of that is part of a, a long-standing Japanese giant monster tradition, I guess. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think when Godzilla started out as the rubber monster and everything after that, people are just like, the Japanese have a different culture. They, yeah, they yeah. like history a bit more than North America, which is all just like, we need to make it newer and flashier in Japan. Just yeah. like, no, the old rubber suit's still good. Yep. Maybe. <laughs> still good. Looks real off me. Yeah, I, <laughs> I also noticed that, like, even the music feels so bad. Oh. Like, like it, it'll go from modern-sounding music to stuff that sounds like it was from the 60s. And, or... In the in the movie I watched, uh, you could tell a scene was taking place in America because there were uh, two black people, one of whom was a pimp and the other was homeless, and <laughs> there was really bad like generic hip hop being played, <laughs> and yeah, it, it was uh, oh. <laughs> it it, it made me feel that. like it, the thing is that movie was made in two thousand four. It's the most yeah. recent Godzilla movie, and I was like, this feels really. Awkward and yeah. <laughs> kind of out of place. 
but yeah, it, it's all because of the monster fight. That's what makes yeah. Godzilla. Well, actually, a, a funny point on the music too is I I just rewatched Godzilla vs. the Small Monster. That was I just finished watching that like two hours ago. Yeah, <laughs> and the music, it was you know how in Austin Powers movies it, it cuts away to the wow 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 wow. Yeah, yeah. It did that <laughs> except it was like two minute long scenes. It would just cut away to this band just jamming away and really. Yeah, I didn't know what was going on. Like, Was the band made... part of the plot, or was it just a throwaway thing? I don't know. I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention. They're hard to follow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I zoned back in at one point, because they started singing something really repetitively, and I wish I remember how it went. But like, it, I just heard this repetitive chanting in, in song, like in a 60s song. Sort yeah, of yeah, yeah. And then... It switched to this cut of this one guy sitting at a table, like rubbing his head and sort of <laughs> shake and freak out or something like that. He's he was in a club, and I didn't know what was going on, like because yeah. I'd only been paying attention to about half the movie, and like, about half of it was built from memory, which is apparently really shaky. When you're Ten years old, yeah. But he just started like freaking out, and then there's all these people dancing and chanting, and he he looks up, and then suddenly, and this is when I first looked at the screen. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I had to rewind and rewatch the part where it said to freak out, but yeah. I looked at the screen at this exact point, and there was a bunch of people with fish heads just dancing around, and he just he freaks out and runs, and then the slog monster comes down the stairs and starts killing people. I, I did not know what was going on. How big was the slog monster if it entered a club? It was, well, was it, it was, like variable. It was mostly like the sludgy tendrils. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I, for some reason, I pictured this <laughs> size changing thing like in Power Rangers, <laughs> which was always a weird thing about that show because yeah, yeah. everyone's normal size, the monster's normal size, until it gets, I guess, particularly upset. And yeah. <laughs> starts not smashing buildings, but walking through the countryside. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this going for a walk monster. Cool a lot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then Power Rangers are just like, "Fuck you! You've, you've made people upset, and yeah. <laughs> you need to suffer." Well, actually, it did grow throughout the movie. It started off, and then it started feeding on smog and oh, okay. car smoke, and it grew big from and the size of about a salmon, like an adult salmon. Okay. <laughs> 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 to, to, to Godzilla To size. Godzilla size, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, you mentioned that they had a weirdly ecological message in that one big yeah, yeah. environmental thing. And I'd mentioned that originally Godzilla started out as a commentary about nuclear uh, yeah, yeah. war and stuff. Um, the first one came out in 54, which fairly soon after the end of uh, World War II. And I learned, I have this near the end, but in the first film, I have a list of what defeated him. The first film, the first thing that ever actually... And this genuinely killed Godzilla. Oh, okay. The Oxygen Destroyer, which <laughs> sounds fairly straightforward. I didn't do it after I read that. I was like, well, that's clear what that thing does. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it, like I said, it actually killed him, though he, he was then, and uh, this is in quotes, possessed by the restless dead of the Pacific War. What? Which, so Godzilla is kind of a zombie. Huh. Made up of, and since it doesn't specifically say the restless Japanese dead, I'm assuming it was everyone that died in the whole Pacific theater in World War II. Maybe that actually explains a lot of the series in terms of how indestructible Godzilla is. Yeah, he's a zombie. He's, yeah, he's, a he's zombie. the biggest yeah. fucking zombie <laughs> in the world, and he has radioactive breath, and he is randomly a monster. He, <laughs> and randomly really, really nice. He's protector yeah, of yeah. Japan as much as, as much as he is destroyer of yeah. Japan. He, he protects it by destroying it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree with this company's financial situation. <laughs> Smash! Cuts <laughs> 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 Hill sick of his path of He's one of the longest subscribers to The Economist. <laughs> <laughs> Since that first one, there's been uh, 28 Godzilla movies, not including the American one from 1998 with Matthew Broderick. Love that one. Really? I do. I, it's sort of a guilty pleasure. It's a bad, bad one, but it I is. enjoyed it. It, it is a, it's a very watchable movie because not a lot of it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the, I just got distracted by Eric's laptop, which suddenly a girl was looking... Sort of in my direction and confuse the shit out of me. There's stranger pictures in that. I just try to ignore it. Like a, a shopping cart corral in yeah. the mountains. Someone throwing a ball. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So 
I have like the the movie was gent like you know like you said it's a guilty pleasure. It's not yeah. a good movie. Mm -hmm. uh, the creature's actually been retconned into an entirely separate monster. Yeah, that's yeah. not considered Godzilla anymore. That's just uh, Zilla or not Zilla. Yeah, and uh, in in Final Wars, that's the first like when Godzilla. It starts out Godzilla is uh, trapped in the South Pacific. No, this uh, the South Pole under ice and rock and stuff. And at the very end, the humans have to release it to fight the aliens who have control over all of the monsters. And there's at least eight or nine other monsters, not including Godzilla in it. First monster he fights is Zilla, who he just basically smacks with his tail and then blasts him with radio radioactive <laughs> fire, and that's the fight. <laughs> like, it's... And then the, the We're aliens, not putting up with this. No, the aliens are just like, I didn't expect much from that fish breath freak. And I was just like, <laughs> no one likes Zilla. He's, he's, <laughs> the That's thing, pretty fantastic. Another, get it, th another thing about that movie that really bothered me, though, is there has, there in the history of Godzilla movies, there have been several encounters with aliens. None of them good. No. But every time the aliens show up, they either, if they don't outright say, we're going to kill you all, here's a monster. Yeah. They would be like, oh no, we're coming in peace, T.P. -E. And then they <laughs> Surprise, release, no. release the monster. And it, it happened again. I'm just like, how fucking stupid. And it's not just Japan. It, like, they, they have, it's a, it's a unite, uh, the Earth Defense Force. Yeah. So everyone on Earth is just like, well, I guess these guys must be true. Which, incidentally, is a great series of games. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering if they had any connection. Cause, I was wondering about that too, but. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised because it seems about the it, giant monsters, your yeah. people with big guns shooting them. Yeah, you fight mostly bugs in those, but yeah, it's big monsters. giant bugs. Yeah, that's there's true. Uh, <laughs> there's a couple giant bug monsters. There's um, the mantis one whose name I don't remember. That's true. Um, oh. Mothra. Mothra, most famous. If you go by the cartoons, there's probably a shit ton. Oh, though. probably. Yeah. I about the cartoons. Yeah, yeah, none of. None of them very good, but I remember the uh, the ninth, the American Godzilla, the one that no one liked, had a cartoon series after, which I fucking yeah. love. <laughs> I remember seeing a couple episodes of that, but that was about as far as I got. It was it was pretty formulaic. It okay. was pretty pretty bad, but <laughs> you know when you're a kid, everything's that much better. Yeah. Uh, according movies. according to the <laughs> film series, there are at least thirty two different monsters, and I wrote down every single one that oh, was man. that I could find. And yeah, I'll, I might go through that later because some of the names are pretty great and some of them are pretty terrible. Like Canada. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do I have that? Yeah, right. Good thing. Well, I might as well go through them now. Obviously, there's got to that. Why bring it up if I'm not going to? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Anguirus, who's that uh, big spiky armadillo looking dude. Oh, I remember. Turns that. into a ball, throws himself. That. Yeah. Uh, Rodan, giant pterodactyl thing that breaks yeah. the sound barrier and that's how it attacks. And so it attacked the two black people in this movie. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they had to be I destroyed. Think... <laughs> I saw the previous not not the two black people, but I saw. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, Mogura, who I don't recognize, Varen, don't know, Mothra, obviously giant moth. Yeah. Who has a weird connection with two tiny twins? Yeah, the two I... twins in the pearl shell. They show they show yeah, up yeah. in this new, in this movie I just watched as well. The hairstyle still the same. Her clothing slightly just updated. A little bit upsetting. Yeah, yeah, because they speak at the same time, and yeah, that's always it's creepy. Slightly different tones. So. Yeah, and it's not <laughs> exactly at the same time. There's a slight yeah. delay. It seems yeah. it throws you off. Uh, King Kong is is in yeah. this because he was in Godzilla vs King Kong, yeah. and depending on which version you watch, Universal's or I think it's Toho, Godzilla wins in Japan. King Kong works, wins in America. So I think I'm I'm pretty sure I watched the Universal one. Yeah, I don't remember how it ended, but I remember the opening credits. I really don't see how King Kong could win, because Godzilla can do everything he can, plus he has the tail and the fire breath. Well, apparently King Kong gets stronger when he's struck with lightning, which <laughs> I thought was a Godzilla trait, but then I, in looking into it, I found out that apparently later on in the series, yeah. it was supposed to be King Kong versus something, uh, and they're like, no, let's change it out for Godzilla, but they kept some of the same traits, like Godzilla got struck by lightning and got stronger, which was okay. King Kong's thing from this movie, right? Yeah, Godzilla, I, I read that Godzilla, if he is hit by electricity that's man-made, it hurts him. But if lightning strikes him, he's A-OK -okay and actually gets stronger. Yeah. Which is kind of choosy because it's the same pretty thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, another monster, Udako, who I picture as a big monkey. I don't 
other than King Kongs. I don't. Manda, King Ghidorah, which was the three headed yeah, thing, yeah. which turned into Mecha King Ghidorah, yeah. and Mutant X. All the yeah. same fucking thing. Yep. Yeah. Uh, which is, as Wikipedia has told me. Yeah, yeah. It's confusing <laughs> because you'll be reading the, the, story, the uh, plot line. And it'll mention Mutant X, you click on it, and you get a link to King Gitter on you're like, I did not click this. Yeah. <laughs> my, my immediate reaction is always just like, Wikipedia's fucked up again, god damn it. <laughs> you failed me again! Yeah. Uh, Baragon, don't know. Ebera, don't know. Ebera? I think, I think it's because it sounds like Hedera. Yeah, who's on the list. Um, Mechanicon, Mechanicon, which I want to see. That sounds fantastic. I don't yeah. know Gorosaurus. <laughs> is that the sort of Stegosaurus that you want? Or am I making up the ones that you had? It might be. There were... One thing I, like, with the whole rubber suit thing, it sucked to be, like, someone like Angiris, because that is a dude in a suit, except he's having to crawl around. Yeah. And I think, like, that would suck. It, <laughs> yeah. it would suck being in a rubber suit, because it would be so freaking hot, but then crawling around, too. But, yeah. Uh, Kamakuris Kumanga, another thing that my head. Big monkey. Uh, Manila, who is one of uh, Godzilla's kids. There's also Godzilla Jr. And um, that's what I thought too. And they could not find. Yeah, they're they're terrible. Oh, they're. They just. They to see them. I almost have to turn the whole thing off. Just cap it up. They just look. look at you. They look hideous <laughs> because they're like really kid friendly versions of Godzilla. Yeah. And, and, like, puke green. Yeah, and they're just, they're kind of eerie in the same way that the, the half human, half alien thing was from Alien Resurrection. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's <laughs> a sort of, horrible too middle human, ground. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hetero, which we mentioned, Gigan, Jet Jaguar, which Jet Jaguar. was a superhero who turned big. That? Oh, I yeah. remember He's that. Like, he was I like Ultraman, that. you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Megalon. King Caesar, which has nothing to do with Italy. Um, <laughs> he's actually a kind of dog monkey with kung fu, and he can channel power from the sun. And, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mechagodzilla. Titanosaurus. Uh, Biolante. No idea. No, that's Space Godzilla, which, creative. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, probably Godzilla. from the see that. From space. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Batra, and th this name looks like it's hard. Destoroya. It's not Destroya. It's Destoroya, which Destoroya. might be a whole like uh, kind of English attempt because yeah. yeah, Godzilla started out actually as the uh, Gojira, yeah, which uh, was a portmanteau, a combination of two words, Gorira, Japanese for gorilla, which I'm not, that's how it's pronounced, I'm not being racist. <laughs> and Kujira, whale, because he's a gorilla whale. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and the last three are Zilla, Orga, and Megagyrus. Megagyrus is another one of the big names, and I could not tell you who he is. Yeah. I remember playing, uh, I think it was Godzilla, destroyed all monsters, and that's where I could recognize almost like half of his names from. And it's just... It, it was awesome. <laughs> it, it was both a great game, but such like a missed opportunity. Yeah, yeah, it really was. Because it wasn't a good game. It was only oh. good because of this massive selection of monsters you get to run around crushing uh, people. Yeah. Um, wasn't was. there? There was a there was a game that was based on the whole uh, kaiju, which is the Japanese art of giant monsters. Huh. I don't. It, yeah, they're called kaiju, all giant monsters. Or kaiju. I don't know. But um, there's a mon there's a game I think called Destroy All Monsters with uh, like one of the monsters was an eyeball with electric limbs. I remember yeah. that game. That, that game, game was, was that was, was a great great game. Yeah, yeah, it was it was really fun. Cause and, you could, like target different buildings and parts of buildings, yeah. pull them off, and then throw them. Yeah, yeah, and uh, whereas Godzilla just kind of had you awkwardly fumbling through them. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's like I just want to fucking punch a bridge. Yeah. Did you, ever, did you ever play Destroy All Monsters, or Godzilla's Destroy All Monsters? Yeah, yeah. And and ever play in a, a map that wasn't a city? There's just no point. 
<laughs> oh, like like the countryside. That yeah, Godzilla's yeah. big fights. There'd be always like happen. one tree. And yeah, you could, like knock that down or like partially damage a mountainside, and it's like now I'm just playing a boring game. Yeah, this is. <laughs> 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 just want to watch the world burn around. It's like let's play, let's play Risk with two countries. <laughs> it's, like, it's let's go to town. Let's just roll the dice for like five, ten minutes. See how this works out. Yeah, it's one of them's gonna win. Probably Godzilla. Whatever the country that's bigger will probably win. Simply yeah. because, and yeah, it's I don't know. Godzilla feels like a. <laughs> uh, if it was fifty-four, that would have been nearly sixty years, or is it more than sixty years? Because 50 years would be 2004. So, yeah, yeah, nearly 60 years wow. of missed opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> could have been, could have been so, so awesome in so many ways. In a lot of ways, it is. Yeah, yeah. But then it's it's just... That was the first... Um, that, that movie series was the first experience I ever had with the really bad foreign dubbing. Yeah. And then it's always been, oh, oh, huh? Just like, <laughs> yeah. Like, why are you this confused? No oh. one does that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was a great moment in it was uh, uh, Godzilla vs. King Kong, where uh, it was some Japanese company was, had discovered that this island nation, their god was King Kong, so they decided to ca- kidnap their god. At the willingness, apparently, of, of the, the tribe. The tribe, yeah, they didn't care at all. <laughs> but Oh, uh, Skull Island, if I remember the King Kong mythos. Probably Skull Island. I think they called it like 4A Island or something. Oh, 4A. Yeah. Fantastic. Something like that. I don't remember. But uh, yeah, no. So they decided to take this island's gone back for TV commercials. <laughs> and there's one great moment where uh, the guy who's trying to broker this whole deal mm-hmm. uh, is sitting around and they're trying to decide what to do. Because Godzilla at this point has already started attacking Japan. Yeah. So they're like, we need a monster for our TV commercials. As the obvious, <laughs> obvious link would be, yeah. and <laughs> someone tries to talk him out of it. And this was one of the, the worst and most hilarious dubbing things I've ever seen because he was clearly shouting something that wasn't English, and he was getting really frantic. Yeah, yeah. But all the and it was complex words more than just no. So he's just waving his arms furiously back and forth, going, no, 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 no. (laughs) (laughs) But there's clearly more complex. Yeah, like he's probably not just repeating the word no. He's probably saying, like, we can't do this because of this list of reasons that I've come up with. I'm just thoroughly thinking so. (laughs) (laughs) No, 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 (laughs) no. Roughly translated. Yeah, roughly translated, too. (laughs) I know. There was a moment, there's there's one character in Final Wars. Do you remember the game Final Fight, that series? So, that It'd be like a kung fu guy, a kung fu girl, and a giant muscle dude with a mustache yeah. walking yeah. left to right, punching people. Okay. Yeah, I remember. Do you remember Hagar? That's the big dude with the mustache? Yeah. Who yeah, fought with uh, one suspender and pants? Yeah, yeah. The guy in the Final Wars, it, he's one of the main characters. He looks exactly like him, and he looks very Russian. And he's the ship captain, right? Yeah, I remember yeah. that guy vividly. That is, when I saw him, I was like, <laughs> why is he here? Like, yeah. shouldn't he be beating up some ninjas or something? Yeah. My favorite thing was, it was, like, clearly a very American actor. It's just really, I just think it's really funny watching, like, American actors be dubbed over. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, was, I, I would love to be in a Godzilla movie because I oh, can't yeah. act, so clearly I have the credentials. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, the thing is, is that they don't, it, it, especially with the American actors, you can tell that the Japanese actors are like, we are, we are legitimate actors. I'm doing a Godzilla movie, yes, but I'll be doing a drama, rom-com thing next month. Yeah. But the American actors, for the most part, if they, yeah, the American actors, for the most part, are just failures. Yeah, like they, they're like, are you are you not Asian? Would you like a job? <laughs> <laughs> I've picked you out of a street, or in in the case of the guy with the mustache, probably a gym somewhere. Yeah, yeah, like, I like the cut of your mustache. <laughs> 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 want to be in a movie? Do you want to look Russian? <laughs> and then, oh, yeah, it was so disappointing because he has like the he looked like Stalin. He had like the hat and the coat, and then. When he opened his mouth, it was like if he doesn't have a Russian accent, and he didn't, and I was just like, this movie is just off to a bad start. <laughs> <laughs> You've lost me. All, all credibility is gone. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, 
No, I remember that movie vividly, actually. I saw Godzilla 2000, and I remember that opinion. The first Godzilla movie I had seen again after my... my Your hiatus. My hiatus. Your sabbatical from... Yeah. <laughs> from Godzilla. Yeah. From my memory of when it was just monsters fighting to when I was awakened to the harsh reality of it's it's just a story. They're attempting with monsters to make monsters fighting. Yeah, yeah. Which was really upsetting. Was um, of all things, I think it was Godzilla destroying all monsters, mm -hmm. which is one of the worst movies I've seen. Really? Yeah, it was bad. It was, <laughs> it was the same. Everything is a uh, is is dialogue. It was just. I think they tried to wrap. A romantic plot into it. They always do. And I didn't care. Yeah. Just, like, it wasn't like a romantic subplot. It was a, it was like a romantic movie. By the way, here's some monsters. And then about halfway <laughs> through the movie, they're like, oh yeah, this is supposed to be a movie of giant monsters fighting each other. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. then the two girls and the clam show up. <laughs> and I think some aliens show up, and then just shit gets wild really fast. And like, it also gets really bad. Like, I think it's six different monsters. I think there was Rodan, yeah. Mothra, Godzilla, obviously. Um, I think Mecha Godzilla was in there, and then one of the spiky that that spiky that Angiris, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then one other that I'm sure doesn't matter. I that think much. I've seen that one too. And then it also had uh, Manila or Godzilla Jr. I don't know. Yeah, but which, they're they're very different, but exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. Which is confusing. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, so like it had them fighting for about 10, 15 minutes, mm -hmm. and then it showed Godzilla Jr. slash Manila, whatever, yeah. wandering around, and then it, it found a group of like people, and then started talking to them. Oh, was, I've heard of that. And, and then, then it started yeah. trying to, it started talking to them, and was like, I will convince the other monsters to stop fighting and get along and be friends. And then it did it. <laughs> and then, <laughs> it was just... It wandered in between of them, and it, it just made them all get along and like walk off into the sunset. And I remember watching this, just seething with rage. I'm like, no! <laughs> I can't handle this right now. Yeah, it's uh, one thing I distinctly remember, and I've seen very few Godzilla movies. Like at most four, out of fucking twenty-eight, that's very few. Um, yeah. it's so <laughs> I distinctly remember the concept of Monster Island. Where all yeah, the monsters yeah. live, relatively in peace. And I don't know, I can't find that anywhere. I haven't looked real hard, to be honest. But it, it, if that place exists, why do they get along there? But then it's just like, <laughs> Godzilla's like, well, I'm going to go off to Tokyo, crush some buildings. I'm just like, fuck you are. No, it's my turn. Yeah. Screw you, I'm going too. Well, yeah. we have to have three. And it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, monster, what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Fuck around with twins. <laughs> <laughs> Which actually doesn't sound that bad. Yeah. But it's a, <laughs> but it's a giant bug and two very tiny women. Yeah. That's all. Um, or in, in a couple movies, it's also been the caterpillar. It wasn't just like yeah, once yeah. it grew. It's it at least the, like the, four times. The newest series of Godzilla movies that they're making, they're trying, they're they're saying, okay, all the movies after Godzilla up till now didn't happen. They're <laughs> starting over. Oh, okay. Which is kind of cool. It's yeah. not necessarily a reboot. No, no, no. Every movie that they make happens right after Godzilla. Some people are calling it like the alternate reality series. Oh, okay. Because each one is just like, well, we've discovered Godzilla once. Here's another giant monster. And then the next movie comes up. Yeah. We've still only known of Godzilla since like 54. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> All these other ones we don't know. It's... Yeah, yeah. It's constant surprises, which yeah. is not a good thing when dealing with giant monsters. <laughs> no, you should probably in some way to handle the giant monsters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's always scientists, which obviously makes sense. It's some yeah. new horrible creature every movie. And the scientists are usually the most ineffectual people in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and the military, also ineffectual, not just because of them like launching rockets which aren't doing anything, but they try to stop the scientists. And the scientists try to stop the military. And then yeah. fucking Manila shows up. Yeah. It's like, I'll um, talk to them. It's like, no, Manila! We don't <laughs> want you here! Leave our movie! Leave it! <laughs> here, you can make everyone sad. Yeah. Um, threw up a little looking at <laughs> you. Yeah. I feel like we can't really talk about Godzilla without at least talking about one or two of the giant, other giant monster movie series. Like, the two that I had in mind was uh, Cloverfield, because mm -hmm. it's recent. Yeah, yeah that's... And um, Gamera. Which I don't know much about. Gamera, I haven't seen. Gamera was a, it was another giant monster. He's fought a. Hey, 
a city, but he's he's got a lot of friends. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> Somehow leaves them alone. Uh, the Mystery Science Theater 3000 guys have have torn that entire series to pieces. It's in the... <laughs> If you remember, I don't remember what period of the of the Mystery Science Theater 3000, but they did have a part. No, that, I don't know if it was Godzilla or if it was Gamera. There's a giant monster riding on his tail, rocketing forward. And that I could have been either. Could have been either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it Gamera also apparently has a song, which I've learned from MST 3000. I I learned that they have it. I don't know the song, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's apparently incredibly irritating. Okay. And, uh, but. What did you think of Cloverfield? Cloverfield, I know, got a lot of flack for the whole handicam thing, mm-hmm. but I actually really enjoyed that part of it. Yeah. It, it made sense to me. It wasn't like the Bourne movies or like Quantum of Solace where it was a shaky cam for the sake of shaky cam yeah. to promote tension. It was the story of some guy with a handheld camera filming crazy shit. Yeah, uh, like uh, that's usually called a mockumentary yeah, or a yeah. uh, found footage film. Yeah. I, I really like those when they're done right. Yeah. And they're done right, well, Paranormal Activity, that whole thing is kind of a, a yeah. kind of footage series. And I, yeah. I, a lot of people shit on it, and I can very easily understand why, but I like that series. And I really like Cloverfield, too. Well, I have a soft spot in my heart for, like, found footage in the Mafia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you... I, just, I, I like the novelty of, like, novelty doesn't wear off on me super fast. Yeah. Like, I'm still totally happy to walk and pay the extra to see a 3D movie. Uh, the novelty is not worn <laughs> off, and I don't know if it ever will. <laughs> does, does the 3D movie ever give you a headache? Like, because you wear glasses, too. It doesn't, actually. Like, I'm, I'm surprised it doesn't. Like, when yeah. I'm watching a 3D TV with the glasses, it, it just kills me. Yeah, yeah, just, minutes. like, right there, right? But just... it also, like, flickers the, the lenses while you're watching it. Oh, that's not TV, cool. So. That's really bad. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's actually even worse than the... I don't, I don't yeah. mind it in theaters, but if I have the option, I tend not to watch yeah. it. That's because true. I like I, with Thor in 3D during a big fight scene, I could not tell what was going on because of the 3D. It was just a lot of mm. flashing and people going. And, and so, <laughs> um, <laughs> Cloverfield, I would watch in 3D, but I don't yeah. think it would help the movie at all. No, I don't think it would. Uh, the first movie I watched in 3D straight completely for me. That's what's up. Fair enough. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, the first movie I watched in 3D was. Um, uh, My Bloody Valentine 3D. Uh, me too! Which was not a movie that could have been done without 3D. It, was just... <laughs> it, it could have, but it... <laughs> it was a bad movie. It was awful. All I had going for it was that novelty. Stuff. Yeah, and uh, uh, Jensen Eccles, the guy from Supernatural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Fuck, that movie was boring. It was terrible. It was... It was... Ugh, and, like... I'd been watching Supernatural, then I saw that, I was like, I don't want to watch Supernatural. <laughs> I still, I, I, I picked it up years later, and it's, it's still a solid series, And but, like, then uh, the other guy, it's Jensen Ackles and Jared Padalecki or something, two okay. leads. He made uh, a remake, because, like, My Bloody Valentine was a remake of an old Canadian movie, I think, actually. Oh. That might have been um, that, that one Christmas movie with the... Uh, girl's dormitory being attacked by a dude. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm talking I can't remember the name. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, then the other dude was in the remake of the Jason movie. Oh, okay. Which, did you see the new Friday the 13th? I want to say yes, but I think I might be making that. It, it had some problems, but I still think it was a solid movie. There's one part in it that, like, I don't know why, but it gives me chills. It's one of his first kills. He has machetes and dude this season, and then it's just, like, Jason's, um, somewhat far back from the camera and just does this like hardcore run and just does this full body swing oh. and it looks so brutal and so cool i just and it's just like poof, like down yeah. to down to about his nose machete went it was so cool <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the movie is it's okay yeah no i think i had it confused in my head with uh halloween that rob zombie review which i actually yeah. like First one was good. Second yeah. one, not so much. Not the They're going to make a third. I guess that doesn't really surprise me. It does and it doesn't surprise Everything needs to be a trilogy now, yeah. which is not... A, it's, it's a it fake necessity. Yeah, yeah, no, it doesn't... It needs to be a trilogy and in 3D. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking uh, Clash of the Titans saw that in 3D. Fucking terrible. I only saw uh, the, the last ten minutes of that yeah. in a bar, and it took me a long time to realize what I was watching. Okay. <laughs> it took me five of those ten minutes to realize what was going on. I was yeah. watching, and there's like some guy swinging around on, uh, on what I assume was the Kraken. 
Mm -hmm. And then it snapped to like Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. Yeah, Liam Neeson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two names. <laughs> oh, that created a weird visual. Yeah, movie. that's an odd. Yeah. <laughs> Liam Neeson in airplanes. Like yeah. what? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even handle it. Yeah. Uh, but no, it was, I forgot what it was talking about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Liam Neeson being Zeus, probably yeah, being yeah. Lo looking concerned. Yeah, he was just looking mad about something and frowning at somebody else, and the other guy was frowning back. At him. So Clash of the Titans, I'm like, oh, that was a movie I heard nothing about. Yeah, and then they made a sequel, Rat with Titans, which was like, hey, more monster fighting. And I actually was like, this one might be okay, and I haven't seen it. But I know, I know that they're going to make a third one oh, that doesn't need to be made. It's awful, because they're just, it's the addiction to trilogies. Yeah, yeah, it's like, well, the first one was bad, and we made it into 3D for the sole purpose of making more money. Yeah. And second one... I'm assuming same kind of deal. Like it wasn't yeah. filmed in 3D. They went through the process after, which is never as good. No, no, it never is. And uh, so, if they made a third one, what do you think it'd be called? Because there's been Clash, there's been Wrath, Death of the Titans. I'm saying Death or Fall of the Titans. That actually sounds fucking intense. That sounds just, pretty cool. Like Clash is just like okay, that's that's what fucking Godzilla was doing. He was he's a titan yeah. clashing with other titans. Yeah. He had some wrath, which was demonstrated by his fiery breath. <laughs> and then eventually they all fall. Yeah, yeah. Or walk into the sunset, go home to Monster Island, go back to yeah. space, go back, go back to Mothra Dimension, whatever the fuck. Whatever is going on. Yeah. yeah. Um. With Cloverfield, also, I liked how it was. It was very much about the monster, but it was the view because it was the, the documentary-ish yeah. style made it feel a bit more personal, a bit more like the monster seemed bigger, and how you yeah. only saw like a few shots of it, which, in the end, the face, not bad. In the movie, I saw it, like, I saw it in theaters. It was good, and then at the, I, when you rewatch it, it's not quite the same. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, and then the, it had those uh, flea tick things. Yeah, that, like, blew up people's hands or something yeah, like that. that was so strange. That was, I thought that was fairly weird, too. But, yeah. Um, you can kind of get it. Yeah. But, like, it's yeah, a little, a little See, questionable. One thing I heard a lot uh, people complain about it. And it wasn't just with Cloverfield, it was with like um, Signs and a bunch of different other movies. It's, yeah. always like, it's always ruined as soon as you see the monster. Like, all the fear goes away pretty much as soon as you see the monster. Signs, yeah. definitely, I have to say. Yeah, I like different. the movie, but it's it to me, that that was the movie where it's like M. Night Shyamalan, whatever he had is not there anymore. Yeah, no, it kind of pissed me off. I did like Lady in the Water, though. I think I'm one you're the very, you're the one. I yeah. am the one person who liked that movie. Yeah. I, <laughs> the one dude who worked out the one side of his body. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know. That, was like, <laughs> that was bizarre, but that made me laugh. It, it was But uh, now, it's this thing with Cloverfield, like if they never showed the monster, I think people would be more angry that he was never shown than yeah. if you saw him at the end. But, that, that gets into the whole horror movie thing, and also kind of with sequels. Because sometimes questions are better left unanswered. Yeah. There's always going to be people pissed off. Like, why wasn't everything spelled out to me from start to finish? I yeah. need to know the answer to everything. Yeah. Fuck mystery. Fuck wonder. Why can't this be as simple as Inception? I don't want to use my imagination. I yeah, just want yeah. to consume. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, just want to be entertained. Yeah, yeah. Like, but like in, in between Batman Begins and Dark Knight, there's been some time. You don't know yeah. what's happened. You pick it up. Yeah. Between Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises, more time has passed. You pick it up, yeah. you know. Or and there's some stuff you're like, you like you don't know. Yeah. But it's not even if they did leave something kind of crucial out. I think people would be like, this is fine as it is. Yeah. There's always going to be people complaining of like, the lack of or the because of the mystery or something. Yeah, yeah. I've seen it. And it's it's also very much uh, American kind of thing, I find. Well, not just American, but Western sensibilities are just like, we need to know everything about what's happening. Yeah. We need to know motive. We need to know blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Sometimes like, shit just happens. Yeah. Like, um, if you just kind of fell into the movie Halloween, like started watching it as his murder thing is starting up, yeah. and if they didn't mention why he was doing it, I think it would still be a really good movie. Just like, this guy's fucking crazy. Yeah. And, like, you'd be fine with it. Well, that's one of the things I liked about it, actually, is because right at the beginning there, uh, I think it was Rob Zombie's first album. Yeah. yeah. It showed him as a kid, and he just killed his whole family. And it just, yeah. There wasn't really any reason behind it. No, and no. I thought that was kind of 
That was creepy as hell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the the with horror, I think mystery is super important, and so many times it's not used effectively. Yeah. In like, if you fully understood why someone is doing something, that's okay. But if there's always that, like, why is he fucking doing this? It makes it yeah. seem that much more scary. Yeah. And people that are horror fans that don't like that confuse me. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, getting to the end. Uh. I have the I have a list of things that have actually defeated Godzilla. Oh, okay. Because he's he has a massive healing factor. He's a giant fucking lizard. He's yeah. got tough skin. He's so. powered by the souls of millions of them. Yeah. Millions. He's <laughs> tens of thousands of them. That makes it seem so <laughs> much different. It's, I know. It's, it actually clears up a lot in a really weird way. It clears it up, and at the same time, it just it makes it seem so much more tragic. Yeah. <laughs> Um, th- one thing which, uh, that killed him was, a uh, maser weaponry, not laser, but it, that's what it is, it's a laser, but they called it maser, which was in, uh, Godzilla Final War, even though I think that was one of the ones that's supposed to take place immediately after the 1954 one, okay. which again, it's just like, why do they have this technology? Maybe they just found it. Um, Everyone just forgot. There's, <laughs> yeah. There's, there's a big... Blanket of amnesia. Everything stayed the same, but then they found all the previous weapons for fighting things that they didn't know they needed to fight. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> With the power of the dead souls, he makes people. Forget. They make people forget. Yeah. That's horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> when he kills, when he destroys buildings and the people die, cause surely he's killing thousands, millions of people. Those souls add to his. I'm forced to assume soul. So just, just because it's, it's kind of yeah. That yeah. adds another depth to. Godzilla is a soul-sucking hell beast. That, that makes him... Like, he's scary enough. The concept of a giant monster that shoots radiation is scary enough, but the fact that if you die, he then takes your soul. That's yes. just... Uh, that's... You get to live forever as part of a giant reptile that's destined to destroy the Earth. I wonder how much... Can... Do they all decide, let's go get Tokyo today? <laughs> Maybe that's why they're fighting. They're fighting over who can claim the most souls. It might also be why, like, he will... Like, he'll, he'll be friends with the monster in one movie and fierce enemies in the next. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyways, getting on. Uh, another thing that's killed him was something called the Super X, which was a military hovercraft with apparently a fuck ton of rockets, which is kind of a lame. Yeah, because uh, they've tried a fuck ton of rockets, and that never seemed to work. Now, uh, the anti-nuclear energy bacteria, which is an awesome, yes. awesome name. <laughs> they developed that just for Godzilla. Yeah, I don't. I didn't write down the description because that was the name. I was like, that's very that straightforward. Much, yeah, just like the oxygen up. destroyer. Yeah. Uh, Mecha King Ghidorah, which was King yeah. Ghidorah, except cyborg. Mecha Godzilla, which Godzilla can't handle robots. They don't have any souls to take. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I have no power <laughs> over you. Finally, the last one was the Dimension Tide, which was a micro black hole fired from a satellite, which I am thoroughly satisfied with. Like that I'm is a satisfied with that, that was a good weapon. I guess the last point to really make about Godzilla is that, is he male or is he female? Because he has children, but they refer to him as both he and she in the same movie sometimes. I don't know. He reproduces asexually, I guess. <laughs> the reason I went silent and Eric started laughing was his laptop has the most disturbing picture. <laughs> Think of his brother? No. That was my friend Scott wearing a mesh shirt, straddling a sword. It was <laughs> deeply unpleasant. He's the next Godzilla monster. <laughs> yeah. uh, 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 me- mesh, Meshanta? I Meshanta, I don't know. I like Meshanta, that sounds good. That sounds Jewish. Sounds, He's the sounds Jewish like, giant sounds monster. Sounds like a Jewish transmaster. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, with the whole Portman 2 thing of Gojira becoming Godzilla, I just need to make this because this is a, this is not this is a punchline without a joke. <laughs> I thought of um, if King of the Jews was uh, Portman 2, after, like if it was a Japanese phrase that had to be rom- romanticized or romanticized yeah. or whatever it is so that English people could say it, I kind of always pictured that would mean kaiju. Yeah. So then I pictured Jesus as a giant monster. <laughs> and that makes me happy. Fighting for the souls of the people of Tokyo. I guess Godzilla. Godzilla. Oh my god. We've come we've come to a final conclusion it's of Godzilla. True. There was no question, but we know the answer. Yeah. And I think that's been geeked. <laughs> yeah. right.